my fancy foot wipe right here with my brakes. Gotta drive with both feet. Let me show you what's going on with my accelerator pedal and my brake. This is where the clutch is supposed to be at, but he turned it into a brake. Um, so he covered it, patched it where the brake's supposed to go, probably because this new steering is at a little bit different angle. It works excellent. Only problem is you gotta use both feet. But there's some fancy footwork going on here when I'm driving this thing. <laughs> So, here's the master cylinder. It's just the uh, stock master cylinder. Everything here is stock, stock, stock. He, the old man connected it to the brake. So this is all one unit. So when he applies the brake, it engages the master cylinder here with the rod. But uh, I don't know. Maybe he thought he didn't have enough room. Maybe he ran into an issue. I'm going to find that out because I think this would work. But I'm not sure because I never dove into it. But I think I'm going to start pretty soon. The steering is here. That might have been a problem. Uh, transmission, TH350. There's a tab here. That might have been the problem, but... You know, you can massage that real quick. And, but I think I'm gonna hook up that brake here pretty soon, in the next couple of weeks. Kids have a hard time driving this thing. I don't want them getting any bad habits. We'll see, we can dig into it. Hey guys, showing you what I got here. Conditions are not ideal, as you can see this this rod or whatever it's called here that holds the brake. It's got a few holes in it. It's been repaired a few times with uh, some brazing, probably cracked in there, but I cleaned it up. Um, got it the best I can. I had to go to the store and go buy some because I, I lost a washer. I don't know where it went. It was here. I got parts. I disassembled the whole thing. And uh, somehow I lost one, so I went to the hardware store to go grab some of these. It's almost the same thing. One inch, just a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. Didn't want it to be that thick, but it's better than waiting, you know, seven to 14 days for some stuff here. So our problem with our brake here we had a clutch pedal and we had that little brake thing here that he shortened down and he had this locked all in one. So as he did the, as we did the, the clutch, it would actuate the brake. So uh, I don't know why he did that. Cause now that I got it all apart and checked it out, I don't know. I thought it was gonna hit up here on the transmission, but uh, that's not the case. And then I thought it was gonna hit here, but that's not the case. And uh, let me show you what I got. Let's put one of these hardware store ones here. Let's put this up in there. in there now I 
you can see it goes all the way down. It's actually the the master cylinder stopping it. So it's not hitting, not hitting that that I thought I was gonna hit, and it's not hitting that piece at all. So and you get that maximum, almost maximum throw. Like if I was to put it all the way here, the bolt might hit. Bolt here. That might hit, but we can shave it down some on this one. I can even space it. Well, I think that's what we're going to do. That's more than enough right there. So what I'm gonna do now is drill a hole here into the body, get that point where I need to do, and then uh, I gotta drill out or cut out a hole for this thing to fit in there, the brake, the brake pedal. And then the bolt that goes into the brake pedal that thing we'll see how that fits and then we'll have to cut it down maybe half of it and it should work we shall see <laughs> Probably just uh, put another washer, drill a hole and drill a hole and stick a pin in there. Stick a pin in there, just like how it was before. There's a pin that goes right there. Then I'll probably just cut that off, but like that. And cut that off. And then I'll probably weld a piece here, save it from the rocks with a hole. So I have a, a access to the grease. And uh, this will get us over the rocks here. So oh, let's get busy. I just drilled that hole right here. So that matches this hole. So I gotta do this size right there. Bouncing around. Damn it. All right, well, we're back at it today. Um, there's no way to get this bolt in there. So we got us a little issue. There's no way. Try to get that sucker in there. Steering gets in the way of that. Do it on the other side. Oops. Yep. You can do it on the other side. Well, that's the side that's threaded. So it's not gonna tighten on that side. So I gotta do a little modification. Little modification on this. 
went ahead and drilled a, a hole here where my brake is supposed to go. That one's a little bit to the right. I don't know what happened there. I don't think that's factory. But uh, yeah, you can see there's a lip there. So that's where I need to put a hole here for the new brake pedal. Um, my whole saw is not cooperating right now, and I don't feel like driving around to the parts store. But I fire up that fire up that plasma cutter and just knock that out real quick. So we'll get that going, and then we'll also modify this bracket so it'll accept that brake pedal from that side. And if I mess it up, I have a second one there. <laughs> All right, cut us a nice little hole. Should be a little too big. Might be just right, I don't know. Looks pretty good to me. We'll make it look nice. So I was able to get that thing in there before I started destroying this, this pedal here. I had to take it apart from underneath there, take it over there, float it up, put the pedal inside there, tighten it, and then reattach it back down here. <laughs> it worked. <clears throat> so I pulled this off so it'll float, and then I was able to stick that, the pedal into this pedal assembly, and then re-put it onto here again. And now we got Full throw. I think that's more than enough than what we need. It's here in the steering. I think that's gonna work. I didn't have to grind it or anything like that. Well done my piece. Probably could have made my hole a little nicer. But, uh, that's why they have any welders. <laughs> All right, I'm happy with that. What I'm gonna do, I don't like this lip here. Cut that down, cut a little relief right here. Then I'm gonna do the Ernie Special, put a bunch of tack welds in here. And that gives a good grip when you move them back and forth. Let's hit it here and you get some good grip. I might just leave that. We have plenty. Uh, I'll cut a little bit off. Probably a quarter of an inch, or maybe a half inch right here. I'm gonna attach that brake. Gotta clean up this hole. Probably a weld little piece here, make it round. Grinder. Painter. This side I'll have to cover up, make a little thing, make a little sheet pedal, a sheet metal thing here, and uh, we'll close that up. Yeah, you guys are wondering where my high beam's located at? I put them up here. Because my feet are big and I like to drive comfortably, so I just put my big old foot right here and relax. And, uh, I think we got our idea for our next paint job. This color looks like it used to be blue. So I think this Jeep might get blue. Sometime in the near future. So I just adjusted my brake rod here 
uh, this nut was all the way up here so I took it out as far as I, I could get it out you know comfortably so um, I got I gained like an inch here in my throw you see that in about an inch on my throw which means I'll probably eliminate the spring and just go with that that way this rides oh, I'm sorry up here so that's the same size this way or like that so take that out and this will ride right up on there with that rubber piece that I just bought that way I have more of a throw here usually it'll ride like that you know so I just took that spring out. Now it's gonna ride up on top of there, which enables the throw since we're, since we need so much space and we don't have it. So that'll give us another inch. So that's what we're gonna do here. That's what I've been doing in the other Jeeps too as well. Sometimes what it creates is this thing up too high see how high it is and i might have to like my other jeeps that i've done this to i cut off you know inch or two inches down here and then reattach this to the rod again that way you're not switching from your foot here banging into there so of course, I won't make that modification until we get the Jeep on and I start driving this thing and see how it feels. And then uh, I'll make my adjustment from there. All right. I like it. Let's clean it up. Welded that up. Not too bad. Got some rust on there. That thing's rusty as hell. I blew a few spots up. But we got them on. Good enough for my foot. <laughs> Had to reinforce it with a piece of sheet metal on the back of there. But it came out really good. Spray that thing green. All right, brakes drying right there. And we are continuing the escalation of the situation. <laughs> Got the whole front end off. Went to the store, got me an Apex 5500, because that's going to go up here in the front. Uh, that one is going to fit. The 12,000, the real good one, is the one I really wanted to get, but uh, that thing's going to be like completely smothering my, my beautiful front grill, you know. And that's uh, iconic right there, so we can't cover all of it. We can cover a little piece of it. So... That'll do. It's about 2,100 pounds. That's rated 5,500 pounds. So we'll give it the old test roo, see what happens. If I break it, well, I'm still waiting to try to get me a cheap uh, <coughs> worn winch, but that ain't happening. <laughs> All right. And uh, we don't need the clutch, so we're just gonna lop this off. That way it doesn't get caught on anything. But uh, since we're down here, I'm gonna cut out a piece of the plasma cutter of some of that 3.8 that I got over there. And I'm gonna make me a, a little dealio over here. I'll probably cut out a, a hole with the plasma cutter. That way I can fit the grease 
uh, grease gun in here. Um, I'll round these out. That way it has like a little thing that'll go over and we should be good. So we'll get to that. this all done up good enough or GE for short Whew. outstanding let's get this brake together we just cut this piece off of there Up. Factory. All right, we're going to assemble it and see what happens. First, I got to put in the that piece, brake pedal. I just tightened it from up top before I put it in here. <laughs> and that should get us in there. There we go. Come on. Now this bolt's only supposed to go in and thread in there, but I took it, I took it a little farther. I just went all the way around. That way it's better. And then it's better that way. <laughs> I cut that little piece off. Alright. <clears throat> so it didn't go as planned of course. I had to keep adjusting my throw here. 
Try to take it back off. And on again a few hundred times. Well, not a few hundred, but a couple times. And keep adjusting that that rod there to get it right where I want it to go. And that ain't gonna work. <laughs> It's a little bit too much. All right, I think that's good for now. Until we get it on the road. Oh yeah, let's put that bolt back in there. in there. Owie. Owie. Ow. No. It's good. Good to go. Makes a little bit of noise, but I think we got it. All right. Outstanding. We might have to make a cut here. Bring this down. We'll see once we get this thing running. I just cut out the slider and install it down there. Help cover my brake assembly. Spent 30 minutes and made that bracket, um, 3 8 plate, protect my brake housing up there in case I come across a rock that uh, wants to hit here. It should just slide right over, hopefully. <laughs> I'm going to grind these corners off and then spray it up and then move on to the, to the mufflers. Yeah, and if this gets banged up or anything like that and I need to repair it, I just cut off wheel it, cut off wheel it, grind her up, and then either make me another one, rebend it, 
or fix this however I need to be fixed. But uh, this is an easy on, easy off type deal here. I didn't really weld it up, no gussets. That's just to protect it on the trail. When it happens, and if it's too, uh, if I mess it up too bad, then I just cut it off real quick and then make another one or do my adjustment as needed. Nice and easy. Kiss theory.